Hello. Is Jason there? This is Jason. Jason, Bryce Drew, how's it going? I'm very well, Coach. How are you? Good. Everything okay where you are? I am. I am very well. I hope you are as well. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the time. I really appreciate it. No problem. Great. Um, my first question is: Other than your family, what were the biggest reasons you got into coaching when you were done playing? <laughs> so, uh, so I think that that really helped shape me while I was uh, while I was watching those games. From your playing days, are there any influences, like maybe a style or a play or, or something you saw from an opponent that has creeped into your coaching style? Well, I, I think every coach that I had, um, I, I, I learned a little bit from that, that I take, and, and and I think players that I played with just in conversations in the locker room or during games, you know, I, I you know, you know, you recall those things. I think, um, you know, each coach has a different personality. And, you know, I, I, I think, you know, some advice that I got early that, that I used a lot was just, you know, be yourself and do what comes natural to you. Yeah. And so, you know, I'll, I'll take things from, from other coaches or, you know, wisdom from other players, but, at the end of the day, I, I go back that, that, that I have to be comfortable, comfortable with it and be myself. Who or what have been your biggest influences from your previous coaching stops? Um, previous coaching stops would be, you know, obviously at Balbo. Uh, you know, my dad built, you know, a great legacy there. My brother was a coach there. So, you know, really got a lot of wisdom, you know, from, from them during those times there. You know, I, I talked to... You know, other coaches, obviously, around the industry. Um, Tony Bennett's always been, you know, a really good friend. And obviously, he's done an amazing job mm -hmm. at Virginia. You know, uh, Matt Painter was right down the road. And so, you know, Matt was someone that he would uh, be able to get a lot of wisdom from just from talking, you know, on the road recruiting with and, um, you know, about certain things. And um, and a very close friend is uh, Richie McKay at Liberty. Yep. And, um you know, at all my stops, that has been a great uh, sounding board and uh, and a mentor in the coaching profession. How would you say? How would you say your style has evolved from your time at Valpo until now, as you get ready to start with Grand Canyon? You know, the game's changed and it's constantly changing. Um, you know, when I was at uh, Valparaiso, you know, the game was a lot more physical. Um, you know, just how the game was called, and there's been a lot of adjustments. You know, on 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 the especially the defensive side of the ball and on screening, uh, which kind of changes the game. You know, a little bit trying to, to get more points on the board. Mm -hmm. and, and and so you know, I would say we are very very defense oriented, which uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll want to continue to be. Um, you know, we were very set driven. You know, ran a lot of set plays, um, and I think the game's going a little bit more motion. So we'll try to mix the two up um, a little more. Um, you know, at Grand Canyon. Great. I have one more question, and the coaches I've talked to previously have really thought it was an interesting one. What would you say is the biggest current influence in the way you coach? Your game plan for your opponents or your roster? You know, I, I, I would say roster, um, and especially as you switch, you know, programs and you coach different teams. You know, it's not like the pro game where you can turn over your, your roster as quickly. And so, you know, you need to adapt. And, and, and that's something um, that, you know, we'll adapt to, to the players that we have on the roster that obviously recruit players, you know, that, that, that will fit even more, you know, what we want to do moving forward. Well, Coach, it's, I'll be honest, it's been a pleasure and an honor. And I really look forward to watching you at Grand Canyon. Please, your family, be safe, and uh, have a nice day. You too, Jason. Great talking to you. Be safe. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye.